So, dear students, welcome back to Cost Corporate Tax Management class. Yesterday, in the previous class, we were discussing about the provisions of MAT, Minimum Alternative Tax. So, you can see how it is being calculated. You see, as per the normal provisions of Income Tax Act, 30 lakh rupees is the total profit. On this one, you know it, it is 30% flat rate. If you calculate, tax will be 9 lakh rupees. Whereas, book profit, in the problem itself, they will give normally. If they do not give, we have to calculate. How to calculate it? I will I will show you pro forma also. So, 70 lakh rupees. On 70 lakhs, this uh, couple of years ago, it was 18.5%. But now it is changed to 15%. Okay, on 70 lakhs, 15% you are going to calculate. Here, the amount will come. On this one again, health and education says 4% you are going to calculate. On um, this, uh, this amount also, you are going to calculate 4% health and education says. So, totally 9 lakhs for 36,000, 9 lakh 36,000, it will be total tax. Here it is 12 lakh 95,000 plus. 4%, 51,800. Total tax payable is 13,46,800. It is 9,36,000. Whichever is higher in this one, that a company has to pay, that amount a company has to pay as tax. This provision is known as Section 115 JB, Minimum Alternative Tax. Every company, whether it is domestic company or foreign company, or public company or a private company, irrespective of the nature of the company, every company has to calculate according to minimum alternative tax and based on the calculation, as per the normal provisions, they have to calculate. As per the minimum alternative tax provisions also, they have to calculate, they have to compare. In whichever case, more tax is payable by the company, that amount has to be paid by the company. Now, you, you may ask me a question, how book profit is arrived at? Suppose in this problem, they gave book profit, 70 lakh rupees. In yesterday's problem also, in the previous class also, I directly gave you book profit. But sometimes you may have to calculate, or in the examination, they may ask you match, write in detail about match. So you have to write, uh, according to Section 115, JB, MAT provisions are included in Income Tax Act. And uh, every company, whether it is a public sector company or private company or national company or domestic company or foreign company, they have to calculate a tax according to normal provisions. And uh, as per MAT provisions, they have to calculate. And uh, normal tax provision means uh, on the uh, total income, at, at the rate of 30% of flat rate, you are going to calculate tax plus HEC 4%. On book profit, tax 15% you have to calculate and uh, on the resulting amount, you again you are going to calculate 4% and uh, you are going to combine it and uh, total tax uh, under normal provisions and uh, under MAT provisions, you, you are going to show and whichever is higher, that amount is payable by a company. So like this, you have to write and uh, you have to show uh, the pro forma of book profit. Suppose if it is given for uh, 12 marks or uh, 15 marks or 20 marks or whatever marks the question is given, you have to show the pro forma of book profit, how it is going to be calculated. See, this is computation of book profit. You can see it. Net profit as per profit and loss account. Then you are going to add these amounts, income tax paid, transfer to any reserve, provision to, for any uncertain liabilities, provision for domination of value of assets, dividend paid or proposed, expenditure to income, deferred tax, depreciation. See, you can see under normal provisions, depreciation as per income tax, it is allowed as a as an expenditure, but under MAT provisions, depreciation is not allowed. We have to add back. So like this, you are going to add certain amounts. And from these amounts, you are going to lessen, you are going to deduct these amounts. That is transfer to any reserve, exempted incomes under section 10, 11, 12. Depreciation, excluding revaluation. Revaluation, depreciation, excluding, you are going to 
deduct depreciation transfer transfer from revaluation reserve income related to income of aop or boy profit on sick industry amount of deferred tax credited to profit and loss accounts all these things you are going to do like this and you will get book profits on this book profit you have to calculate 15% as per mat provisions this is the pro forma for calculation of book profit normally in the examination they will not ask you to calculate book profit they will ask you to calculate profit as per normal provisions means in, in general problem they will give in the previous class i i gave you directly book profit and if you are asked to calculate tax in the uh, in the in the last class okay, this is an example see here uh, another uh, this is another example problem i am going to explain to you see as per normal provisions of uh, sorry, this is not the example now you see so another problem you can see 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 as per normal provisions total income is 1 crore 1 lakh 20000 this is the total income on this one 30% they calculated tax see when total income crosses 1 crore rupees the a company is supposed to pay 7% as surcharge please remember if a company's total income crosses 1 crore rupees a company has to pay 7% as surcharge okay now come to this side book profit you can see it is 10 crore 2 lakh 40000 so it is more than 1 crore rupees so in this case on book profit i told you 15% at a flat rate of 15% you have to pay mat according to mat minimum alternative tax rate is 15% on this one as the the company's income is more total book profit is more we have to pay 12 percent as surcharge in this case it is seven percent but here it is 12 percent so you are going to calculate you are going to add these two you will get certain amount this is this is the total amount of this okay see uh, this marginal relief will be there in a in your problems you will not get what marginal relief is but i will explain you first of all you understand what mat is up to up to this step you understand okay on book profit 15 percent and total income 30 percent flat rate you are going to do if the income is more than crore rupees you are going to add surcharge of seven percent you as per mat provision you are going to add surcharge of 12 percent Yes, did you understand? Yes, sir. Uh, totally, this you have to write. Suppose if it is given in a theory, uh, as a theory question, write about mat means you have to write these provisions. You have to uh, write this also. What, what mat, uh, uh, this book profit, how to compute book profit, that also you have to mention. Okay? So minimum alternative tax, this is about... Uh, minimum alternative tax again i am showing here also the minimum alternative tax uh, actually you, you can see here this is introduced first time uh, in a, uh, 1987 actually you know finance act 1987 with effect from the assessment year 1988-89 Okay, later it was withdrawn according to Finance Act 1990. Then it was reintroduced according to Finance Act 1996. So one time, first time it was introduced, it was withdrawn. And again, the second time it was reintroduced with the effect from 1997. You have to start like this. Okay, so uh, after starting like this, you have to mention... Uh, uh, tax liability of a company is computed as per the normal provisions of the income tax law. Okay, then tax computed H, please remember this is, the, you change it to 15%. Presently, it is 15%. Okay, so each and every company is supposed to calculate according to MAT provisions and uh, according to normal provisions. And we, in whichever case, the higher amount is uh, to be paid by the company that amount needs to be paid by the company 
okay this is how uh, here also computation of book profit is mentioned but this one is simple you, you can see this is very simple way of calculating book profit this is pro forma you should remember at least five five transactions you should be able to write from this pro forma did you understand yes, sir. yes sir okay okay now come to yesterday i shared one problem no i am opening that problem just a minute where is that problem and it is not there okay distant where is that is this the problem of yesterday no no this is not the problem yes come minute this is yesterday second problem sir problem we started in the last class according to normal provisions what is the tax liability of the company so tax liability is yes, what is the tax liability 1,34,285. 1,34,285. very good now according to mat according to mat provisions we have to calculate see what is the book profit what is the amount of book profit in the problem that is given yesterday i, I wrote here no separately book profit is 10 lakh sir 10 lakh rupees so okay, right fine now you see uh, tax on book profit i told you no tax on book profit is 30% at the rate of 30% sorry at the rate of 15% okay at the rate of 15% what 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 is the amount that you are going to get on 10 lakh 15% means 1 lakh 550000 no on 10 lakhs 15% means you will get 1 lakh uh, 50000 is it correct yes is it correct on 10 lakh 15 15% you will get 1 lakh 50000 is it correct yes sir okay now next since there is no surcharge because the amount is not more than 1 crore rupees only health and education cess is going to be there health and education cess is going to be there that that is to be paid at at the rate of 4% okay what is the amount on 150000 you calculate 4% is it 6000 yes sir okay so now the total of it, these three amounts is going to be 156000 is it correct you check it once yes sir Seven, yes sir yes sir okay now thank you now you make a comparison between normal provisions tax liability and mat tax liability see this is normal tax the, cal the tax income tax calculated according to normal provisions this is income tax calculated according to mat provisions whichever is higher the company is supposed to pay that amount okay now we have to conclude that uh, like this we have to mention see remember in every paper you will find this term mat minimum alternative tax because if you open the syllabus of your uh, this corporate tax management 
in the second unit almost all the topics were over for you at your degree level at your bcom level only this mat is a new topic for you you search it okay this uh, adding of a uh, gross total income except to income from salary remaining four heads you are adding anyway there is nothing new only every year tax rates may change that that you are going to incorporate but uh, uh, in a, in a, in the remaining ones uh, there is no change but only mat topic is a new topic for you so it may be given for a small uh, a small question it may be given for a short answer question or long answer question or a problem like this yesterday in the previous class i mentioned no? like that it may be given book profit they will give and uh, a book profit they based on book profit and the normal uh, provisions of income tax you are going to calculate like this and you are going to make a comparison and ultimately you have to write like this as tax calculated according to mat provisions is high the company has to pay rupees 11 lakh 56000 as income tax like this you have to conclude if at all a problem is given you have to make a comparison and you have to write like this did you understand what is match yes did you understand is it clear for you Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Right. Now coming to sir, one more question. Yes, please. Yes, sir. If if the mat amount and the income tax amount will be equivalent, then what? Uh, which amount should we have to take for the consideration, sir? Very good. Very good. See, mat provisions amount on the amount. Uh, on book profit you are going to calculate 15 percent where is coming to as per normal tax provisions you are going to calculate on the amount at 30 percent automatically 30 percent will be more no automatically 30 percent based on normal provisions of the income tax only if you calculate 30 percent uh, taxation will be more on the same amount See, as per yes. mat provisions, we are going to calculate only at fifteen percent. As per mat provisions, on the same amount, um, according to your uh, question, same same amount came under book profit method and as per net profit also, as per normal income tax provisions also. On the same amount, fifteen percent you are going to calculate, thirty percent you are going to calculate. Naturally, thirty percent will be more. So the company has to pay. Uh, based on normal provisions in such a case did you understand yes sir okay so like that now coming to our uh, uh, i will open our syllabus once okay now uh, now dear students i want to tell you one thing i already shared in the previous classes with you my uh, my website you have my website with you is it uh, is it yes or no is my website available with you yes sir yes sir now opening e books opening from my web web uh, website only you can see under academics e content if you open so whatever this is there whatever i opened now books i opened one now one book i opened that book i am opening again from my website you can see it see corporate tax management semester 3 this is this is all mcoms uh, material for you semester 1 you can see it it is semester 1 semester 2 semester 3 in this one you you open this plenty of material is available for you tax planning and management mcom this is uh, fourth semester for them university of calicut school of distance education for them uh, this is the given see you can see separate chapter for them is given uh, a third unit is allotted separately for minimum alternative tax you can see it did you see yes sir 
Now, that only I opened now. See, this only, as the same book. Now you can see. In page, from page 13, this minimum alternative tax unit is there. For deeper knowledge, you can open it and you can refer it. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now come to our syllabus. I am opening our syllabus. Okay, now you can see this is our syllabus in corporate taxation, computation of income from house property. Do you know we have already done a problem in the class also? I gave you one homework also. Business income from business, we have done in the previous class. Just uh, in the previous class, we have done income from business and we combined with other businesses, gross total income also, we have calculated. Okay, capital gains. See, in capital gains, you know, in a, at your degree level, you have learned two kinds of capital gains are going to be there, long-term capital gain and uh, short-term capital gain. How to calculate on a long-term capital gain? Uh, did you remember that uh, indexation method? You are going to find out index and uh, based on inflation index. Uh, did you remember or shall I do one problem uh, on capital gains? Yes. Did you remember or shall we do? Sir, please do, sir. Okay, I will do. I will do. Let us take, for example. Okay. Sir, but in, the, but in the previous, uh, I mean, in, the, in our college, it conducted, no, sir. What, what I conducted? I mean, no, I mean, for BCOM, income tax is a subject for us, no, sir. Yes. Uh, in that, uh, the index members has given before 19, I mean, before uh, 2000, they have given, given, ma'am, ma ma You will recollect, yes. Yes. Sir. Don't speak, don't interrupt me. I will, I will do it. One, one problem okay. I will. Uh, okay. Data for purchase of assets. This is, uh, let us take for example, this is uh, 1, 1, 2018, uh, 2014, okay? Index on 1, 1, 2014. This is, uh, for example, it is, 226. Okay. Now, cost of asset. Cost of asset is equal to cost of asset is equal to 10 lakh rupees. Let us take for example. Then, sale value of asset. This is the problem. Uh, for example, I am telling sale value is 30 lakh rupees. So in the current year, they sold. Let us take for example. Now find out capital gains, the long-term capital gain on this asset. That is the problem they gave. So first of all, you, you have to uh, present year's so index. Let us take for example, in the problem, they will give it. Now let us take for example. Uh, index index on the sale value of asset that is present year's index. Let us take for example, it is given as uh, 346. They gave like this. Let us take for example. How to calculate means cost of the asset. See, when you purchased the asset, five, this is almost 10 years ago, um, almost 9 years ago, you purchased this asset. Then uh, the cost of the asset on that date is 10 lakh rupees. So 10 years back, you paid 10 lakh rupees for purchasing that asset. Now, its value will be more, its cost will be more in the market. 
so we have to convert it into present day cost then with the help of these two indices you are going to change it into change the value into present days value so how means i, I am doing it you try to follow it see you have to write like this on 10 lakh rupees into this cost of the asset original cost of the asset value we have to mention here that this is cost of the asset coa means cost of the asset okay into then what you are going to do is present uh, present index present in the year of sale whatever index is there in the present year whatever index is there that you are going to write it here 346 and uh, in the year of purchase whatever index is there you are going to mention it here okay so it is 10 lakh rupees into 346 by 226 what is the value you tell me you please calculate and tell me 10 lakh rupees into 346 by 226 what is the value sir in uh, 15 lakh 30 thousand 973.4 30 thousand 973 i am taking so this is the cost value of the asset according to present market situation according to present market conditions now from this sale value when you sold the asset you got 30 lakh rupees its cost value is now we computed no now we calculated no this you have to take 15 lakh 30000 970 you have to take like this. and you will get the capital gain cg capital gain long term capital gain so this is the indexation method Okay, because see, this 30 lakh rupees value is according to present market conditions. Whereas this 10 lakh rupees value is almost 10 years back market value. This market value, uh, this amount we have to change it into present market value amount. So for that index method you are going to use. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, like this you have to calculate. So uh if you calculate it will be like this 14 lakh 70027 rupees is it correct you check it one sir it's 14 lakh 69027 sir okay it is 14 lakh 69027 so this is a long term capital gain in this way you are going to calculate capital gains okay so so uh, gains other sources incomes from other sources yeah, from other sources means what are the other sources like lottery winning horse race like, uh, horse race winning like like this you will find normally those also you are going to add and set off and carry forward of losses this uh, i will tell in the next class set off and carry forward of losses okay then deductions out of gti what is gti Cross it, total income. Cross total income. So under section 80, I will give you one table to you. Uh, uh, that table you, uh, you have to remember. And the computation of total income and tax liability of company, we have done the problems. And the minimum alternative tax. This is very, very important. Minimum alternative tax. In every question paper, you will find a question on this one. Okay. Then uh, this dividend tax, uh, these three in the next class I will tell. Dividend tax, uh, then uh, set off and carry forward of losses, then deductions out of GTI under section EIT applicable to all companies. Yes, is it clear? These three topics in the next class, 
After 15 minutes, I will take. At, at 8, 40, I will take. These two plus a dividend tax. These three topics in a, in a 20 minutes. In a, a, now it is 8.15, no? At 8.40, I will take. Okay, sir. Okay, you eat and uh, join the class again. Okay, sir. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Huh? Um,